I've done about 40 kilometers in about an hour and a half. So with any luck in an hour, I'll be having a cup of tea in the motorhome with the fam. Check the rainbow. Tyree is the most westerly island in the Inner Hebrides of Scotland. It's only 12 miles long and 3 miles wide, with a population of around 650. Due to its location in the Gulf Stream, Tyree is one of the sunniest places in the UK. It is also one of the windiest, with some months averaging over 20 knots of wind every day. It has always been on my bucket list to go there, so we plan to spend five days exploring the island as I knew it would be one of the best opportunities for getting some time on the water. My wife and I decided to make the most of her maternity leave and rent a motorhome to road trip around Scotland and the Outer Hebrides with our six month old baby and two dogs. The plan was to hike, kite, wing and circumnavigate islands whilst exploring Scotland's epic scenery. Good morning everyone. It is five to six in the morning and we've just pulled in to the ferry terminal going to Tyree potentially might try and kite surf around today. It'd be pretty scary because I've never been there before. I don't know the terrain, the tides are super strong. However, looking like on at the forecast and the maps, it kind of looks perfect this afternoon. So we're on the 6.30 ferry today. We'll be there by 10.30. It's a four hour ferry. Um, so there's a chance we're gonna pull up at the spot at lunchtime. And I've done a little bit of calculating. I reckon it could take me maybe two to three hours. I've got my yellow brick tracker, all the safety stuff I need, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll see when we get there. just arrived in Tyree and I'm gonna go for it. I would say the wind's around 15 to 25 knots. I've done it, measured it out on Google Maps, it's about 40 miles around, which I think is around 60 kilometers. This is me leaving. I've got my yellow brick tracker, which sends my location every 10 minutes. My latest speed uh, is on the Iridium network, so it's super safe as well, the offshore sailors use. Coming in on the ferry, I had signal. I've also got my phone in a waterproof bag. So I've got plenty of safety stuff. Um, got my watch, GPS watch, which is gonna record my time and speed. Just going over the fence. But check out how cool this is. So on Tyree, the locals have these things called crofts and it's just this like piece of land that you can pay 10 pounds a night for. And just over the road, there's this beauty. So I think it's going to take me around two and a half to three hours. Um, it's a fair old slog, but not the furthest I've been, but I'm probably more nervous than ever just because I've never been here before. You know, I'm not familiar with the terrain. I've heard that there's super strong tides in Scotland, which is why I've opted for a kite foil. It's so much faster than a wing foil, so I can get around as soon as possible. Okay, gear-wise, I've just got my hands on the new Hopecraft um, and I'm going to use a 657 front wing, which is around 700 surface area with a small tail, the 325 on 102 meter, 102 centimeter mast. UFO 9 meter, 
you know it's slightly over oversized for today but i'd rather have more power than less it just makes me faster um i could probably be out on a six or a seven but it's nice to have the comfort of a nine oh yeah bloody lovely here goes nothing oh i'm freaking it surfing it's like 18 to 20 knots beautiful conditions i've just made it past the northeastern point and i'm now heading through the sound it's lovely if ever there was a day to do this touch wood i don't want to jinx it today seems like the day it's starting to flatten off a bit so much wildlife Apparently um, they saw humpback whales and loads of dolphins and stuff on the ferry earlier, but we missed it. Um, but yeah, it's just phenomenal. And I'm all by myself. I've been averaging around 15, 18 knots, just taking it easy. I don't want to have any big crashes early on. And I have spotted a bit of seaweed. There's some big bits of kelp, which I hate kelp. Um, yeah, a couple of lobster pots. Look, we're coming past one now. Don't fancy hitting a trailing line on one of those. One of the hardest things about these long distances is just the concentration. Like you just, if you don't want to crash, which you don't, you just have to concentrate constantly. I stare forwards and my brain is constantly processing the waves as to how to balance on the foil. And the bigger the waves and the swell, the harder it is to balance. Um, so that first bit back there was tricky, but it's starting to flatten off a bit now. And uh, yeah, luckily, like, tides are perfect. It's still quite late in the day. I set off at 1.30. Um, so ideally, I would have left earlier. But however, that was the optimum time with the tides. So, so far, so good. Right, I've been going half an hour, done 15 kilometers and I'm doing about 50, 30 kilometers an hour, which is around 18 knots, something like that, uh, 20 mile an hour. So making good time actually. Oh yeah. I feel like I've gone to a different planet. So I've done about 25 kilometers. Uh, just coming up to probably 45 minutes, I reckon. Something like that. So I'm smashing it, really. Starting to think I should have gone around, gone around the other way. Anyway, um, oh, just a little stressed, to be honest. It's just being on the, the leeward side, the downward side. You, know, you feel so exposed out here by myself. Okay, I'm going to the first hill. So you can just see what I'm seeing because wow, it is 
insane being out here by myself. Oh, but we're getting there. We're making good time. Oh, nice to not be looking into the sun. It's so intense going around this part. The most westerly part of the island. It's just the tallest, biggest, most rugged looking hill. There's definitely a tidal stream running through here. But it's not too bad. I reckon on its day this place could be gnarly. As far as it goes, I reckon it's pretty tame but it still feels very intense. Wind's picked up loads actually. I'm stacked. But it does make it easier to go upwind when you've got loads of power. So looking up, it looks like yeah, I've got further than I thought to go. Got a fair old slog to go up with. I've done about 40 kilometers in about an hour and a half. So, with any luck, I reckon I, I sort of thought it'd be around 60 kilometers to get around. So, with any luck, in an hour, I'll be having a cup of tea in, in the motorhome with the fan. Check the rainbow. Look at that, that's just insane, isn't it? Wow. I'll come in a bit closer here just to explore and after that super intense bit oh first crash I didn't want to say I hadn't crashed earlier but I have now I've seen some fantastic kite surf spots like here I am right now it's just dead flat super windy epic I don't know why this place isn't full of kiters and I guess most of the time it's raining we got very lucky getting the conditions I have today but I'm sure it gets pretty cold and bleak up here we're a long way north making good headway though this is the I think like the last headland I've got to get around and then it's just a reach across I'm a little bit worried about being able to find the bay that I left from because every bay looks the same, kind of. Hopefully I can recognise where I actually started or else I'll be going around again. <laughs> I'm going the final bit upwind, I'm stuck in some races, some tidal streams. just over two hours and I think I'm round I'm pretty sure I'm back where I started I just don't recognize where I started I think I'm, I think this is me though I can sort of see a rough shape of a camper van that looks vaguely like mine I'm still a long way out though but I'm definitely through all the danger which is amazing um, to be yeah, out of that stuff. I think this is this is me right here. Is it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to go check it out. Can't believe it. I think it's me. Oh yeah. Getting more and more 
more confident that's my motorhome which means I've made it I made it all the way around the first person ever to kite foil circumnavigate the Isle of Tyree can't really believe it I'm ready for a cup of tea though that's what I am ready for two hours and eight minutes 62 kilometers with an average speed 32 kilometers an hour no 28 kilometers an hour what an amazing session Woo! oh my god windsurfer scared the crap out of me as far as i'm aware no one's ever done it before but please correct me if i'm wrong just like that well that where i started wow i made it so good to be back in the motorhome, ready for a nice hot shower and a cup of tea. Um, Hi. 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 Oh no. Yeah. Hey guys! Hey!